Captain on the bridge. All right, Captains, we are back on the bridge here. And tonight, we will be flying the Jirok Alliance Carrier. We finally unlocked it. And I could not be happier. Now, I have had my sort of qualms about the design. I, I wish we could have had a different sort of headpiece here. What? I, I don't really have any other recommendations, but regardless, we got It's a free ship. And what we will be doing is going over the build we'll, we put on her. But we got it tonight, and I am looking forward to having some fun. So tonight, what we'll do is we'll go over the build, weapons, space set, consoles, traits, stations, and doffs, and then take into the Argala and see how it does. See how it does. So here it is, the Jirok Alliance Carrier, the AFS Squished Bird. <clears throat> okay, I called it the Squished Bird because, well, if you look at it from the front, it looks like a Derpidex, but just squished. <laughs> and I usually call the Derpidex a bird, so that's my reasoning I'm sticking to in it. Anyways. Here we go. Start with the weapons here. So four weapons. Now, keeping in mind, this is sort of, again, the Alliance carrier. So just like what we did with the other Alliance builds we did, we're, we're sort of meshing all of the weapons from the different factions. So here we go. So the Enhanced Biomolecular Photon Torpedo, which is from your Undine rep. We're going with the Ultimate Modified Kelvin Torpedo. This is from the Low Buy Store. And then we're going to use a Dark Matter Quantum Torpedo, which is from your Discovery Rep. Deflector here, we have our Elite Fleet Intervention Protomatter Deflector from your Fleet Colony. Your Prevailing Innovated Impulse Engines from your Competition Rep. Help us with movement as well whenever we hit our tactical abilities. We have the Mycelial Harmonic Matter Antimatter Core. And Tilly's Review Pending Modified Shield from the Discovery Rep. In our aft weapons here, we have the Elite Fleet Genoa Tricobalt Mine, also from your Fleet Colony. The Thoron Infused Quantum Mine Launcher, which is from your Delta Dilithium Store. And then the Ultimate Modified Plasma Omni. So we're going to put a beam on this. And this is also from the Lobi Store. Devices here, I am going to keep going with the carrier theme here, and I'll explain the madness that is what I do with some of the builds we do here. So the Delta Alliance Reinforcements Beacon. This is from one of the, I believe, the featured episodes as a reward. But yeah, signals for a strike team of three Delta Alliance escorts to assist you in combat. So it's, again, keeping with the whole Alliance theme here. That was a happy little accident. Kobayashi Maru Transponder for all its buff goodness. We're going to use our Torp Candy for the plus 30% bonus projectile damage for 20 seconds. We love our Torp Candy. And Deuterium Surplus for some movement of the big bird. Our consoles here. We're going to use the console that comes with the Jirok Alliance Carrier, which is the Sensor Suspension Burst. So this gives us plus 2.9 critical chance. Nothing to sneeze at. Plus 7.6 aux power. And then the sensor suspension burst. Team-wide placate and critical hit buff for pets. And to self and allied players within 20 clicks, 20% 20 critical hit chance for 5 seconds. Resets hangar bay recharge time. The player hangar pets and summons within 20 clicks, 30% crit hit chance for 20 seconds. Placate foes within 10 clicks for 20 seconds. And it's only a minute 40 second recharge. So not bad. And... Or when players get this as well on their accounts, you can put this on other ships. So it's great. So we also have the Ultimate Modified Swarm Processor. This is from the Low Buy Store. Now, this is a three-piece set with the Ultimate Modified Swarm Processor, the Ultimate Omni Beam, and the Ultimate Kelvin Torpedo. So three-piece will give us... The two-piece will give us, on crit or misfire, a bolt target dealing 641.5 plasma damage. And the three-piece will give us, for two minutes, with two minutes recharge, sorry, and target self. It's a clicky 100% fire cycling haste for weapons for 12 seconds. Not bad. Not bad. 
Go on here, the bio neural infusion circuits from the Lobi store. Ferrofluid hydraulic assembly from your Terran rep. The ordnance accelerator from your Gamma rep. This is for the 20% mine recharge speed, along with 26.3 projectile weapon damage. Not bad at all. For its goodness, that comes from the Gamma rep. We're using the emulating phaser lance. This is from the Deimos Pilot Destroyer from R&D. We have the Dynamic Power Distributing Module. This comes from your Atlas. This is a lockbox ship for the plus 11.3 all damage resistance rating. Plus 19% directed energy damage. It's going to help our little Omni Beam. Not much, but it's there. Point Defense Bombardment Warhead for its plus 25 projectile damage and plus 1% crit chance. A two-piece will give us... Well, we're, we're not going to discard that. We're not going to discard that. Now, it'll give us plus 33% plasma damage. And if I'm not mistaken, plasma damage. So it's going to help that a little bit. But our main focus here is torpedoes and supporting our pets that we set out. So my thought is we're going to be sort of hanging back a little bit while the pets do their thing. And then we're going with the theme here. We're going to use opening salvo, take down the shields for from the tier 6 Titan. The quantum warhead module, again, supporting, but it also does give us plus torpedo damage. And the tricobalt tear launcher, plus 19% mine and torpedo damage with some shield pen. And then, of course, we are going to be using the hangar pets that come with this ship, which is the Elite Alliance Fighter Squadron. So it has micro anti proton beam arrays, micro anti proton pulse cannons, and has focused assault three, which recently got a buff. So we're going to be, we're, we're, we're going to try to help our pets do as much damage as we can. This is not really full built as a carrier, but we thought we'd mess with it a little bit. And we got two hangers of those so there is the build there stats wise we have 38.8 crit chance and 176.3 crit severity now captains keep in mind my pendevers are rank 600 so i have all my space pendevers helping me out with my space pew pews Okay. The one thing that we keep forgetting to mention, we're just using Intelligence Officer Specialization with Temp Operative. Traits, we're going to go with A Good Day to Die, Anchored, Self-Modulating Fire, Resonant Payload Modification, Hot Pursuit, Help Our Minds, Superior Projectile Training, Unconventional Systems, Hair and Targeting Systems, Intelligent Agent Attaché, the Boimler Effect. Entwine Tato Matrices for our Starship Traits, Universal Designs, Ceaseless Momentum. We're going to use a Starship Trait Carrier Wave Shield Hacking to help us take the shields offline when we use Tractor Beam. And then when we use Tractor Beam, we're still going to be spitting out some torpedoes from the Rapid Emitting Armaments Trait. Plus 15% bonus torpedo damage for 10 seconds. This fires three plasma torpedoes. So we'll not only take off their shields, but we'll be sending them some torpedo love. Base rep, we have precision, advanced targeting systems, omega kinetic shearing, torpedo pre-fire sequence, and Tyler's duality. Active space rep, we have Anti-Time Entanglement Singularity, Biomelica Shield Generator, Forced Challenge, Tethered Non-Baryonic Asteroid, and to wrap it up, Refracting Tetron Cascade. And to our stations, go left, right, top to bottom. We're going to go with Beam Fire at Will, Dispersal Pattern Beta 1 for our mines, Corpse Spread 3, which is going to be our main damage dealer. Hemocyte. And we're going to also use Focus Assault. Because why not? Something different. Emergency Powered Engines. Emit Unstable Warp Bubble. Eject Warp Plasma. Tractor Beam. 
scramble sensors, photonic shockwave, we're going to use grav well. And then the last one, concentrate fire power. So we have one, two, three, four, five uncon procs to help lower our universal consoles cooldown period so they can keep using them. So there's that. We'll go over the doofs. We'll go over our dopes. Our dopes. So we got the two still helping us in ground for space. The Neil Falconer. Increased damage versus the Berg. Oh my gird, the Berg. Elder Malikitan. Increased damage versus all. And then for space, nothing too different. Emergency Khan. Officer to help us recharge our evasive maneuvers. When we use our emergency power to engines. Three projectile DOF officers. Two of them give us a chance to stack crit severity when we fire projectiles. And then the one gives us a chance to reduce the time for a recharge to, for our mines. They'll rein for more damage versus the Berg. And 30, 47, reduce other bridge officer ability cooldowns after using one. Uh, so there it is. Quite the interesting design ship but i really do like the hangers here i think that's great i think that's great uh i do have my captain here captain adams who's right over there so shout out to you caps but what we'll do is we'll take him to an elite argala and see how it does and remember captains picard and Riker are always with us okay just just there's never a ship that they are not with us just keep that in mind okay and some take us out of here. Maximum. Mm. Aye, sir. Engage. She's a biggin. She's pretty chonky. All right, here we go. Tactical alert. Vessel approaching. Bearing 184, Mark 7. Oh, oh man. Fat Feels. To we're gonna use got them together take that out see we're gonna just allow our pets to do their thing while we support from back here Ooh, look at those torps <laughs> okay this is gonna be fun and this is gonna be fun like, when is it that I don't have fun? You have entered an... you are now okay, we're going to save our major bus for this group. Holy jeez. That took away that group. Oh, call me impressed. Call me impressed. My own pets will call in the Delta Alliance too. Look at that. We got a Mercury class and an Icarus class escort helping us to fuse. that on the bar there I think I just replaced the power whoops let our pets do our thing while we sit back and help them out look at that my shields and oh my dear lord <laughs> That was absolutely awesome. She stops on a dime, too. I'm impressed. Bye, shields. <laughs> we do what we want, where we want. You can't tell me that's not cool. Oh, we should have this on here too. There you go. Take your shields out. Picked up a tight beam transmission on a new 
We're going to save our major boss for the last group, but it's doing good on its own. Holy jeez. That's cute. <laughs> Last group already. Interesting. Alright, let's do this. Okay. Get all the ships there. Bye. It is just eating through the hull. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Um. Thank you for your assistance. Uh, one sec, sir. I'm. I'm speechless. Holy jeez. Okay, captains. Let's go over here. Let's go for our shelfies, captains. If you don't know what that is, that is our ship selfies. Find a nice spot here. And let's find a good little angle here to show up. Wow. Uh, captains, there is the build, and that's how it did. I am actually impressed how fast it was going through targets. I'm not sure if that was the pets with the focus assault, but captains, all my builds are usually the same, but even they still kind of vary from ship to ship to ship at least for me to and it keeps it interesting for me so but i'm impressed and you know what we're going to we're gonna have fun with the ship i highly recommend captains that if you got the ship try it out and see what you can put together but for me this did well enough for the nightly pews that we do here on Twitch. And captains, I invite you here to the Twitch bridge where we do our nightly pew pew shenanigans, where we have fun. And captains, please keep in mind, when I do these type of build videos, they're just for me. They're for my fun. Take from it what you will, if anything. But if anything, have fun with your ship. Remember, you are the captain of your ship. So have fun and enjoy this ship like i said i highly recommend you give it a shot i am not a carrier captain at all i think i've flown a carrier maybe once since 2014 and even then i don't even launch the pets itself so i'm quite impressed with this ship i'm very happy that i have it comes with a great console it's it looks interesting and it performs well in my opinion but we'll leave it on this note don't let them promote you don't let them transfer you. Don't let them do anything that takes you off the bridge of that ship because while you're there, you can make a difference.